Hiya, ahoy hoy, welcome to Gavin's Grotty Guitars again, still on lockdown, and I bring you the Tanglewood Electric Elf EE10. I've often thought that a half size travel guitar would be a great idea, there's a fun thing chuck it in the boot, take it with you wherever you go so you've got something to play on. And here we are, we've got it, it's got a full-size humbucker, full-size wraparound bridge, that's a proper width neck there, you know, it's, it's 42 mils at the neck, at the, the nut, what more could you want? Um, I found this on my travels in, I think it was Cheshire Market, when Craig was over again, I think it was £15. So, you know, you can't buy a lump of plywood for that properly. Well, that looks like fun. We can do that up. Um, things were broken on it. There was a lump of wood missing down there. Um, the nut was the most appalling nut I've ever seen. Here, here's a photo of the state of it beforehand. Disgusting. So I made a new one. Um, good old Corian to the rescue again. The action also was appalling. It was, um, you know, about a centimetre at the 15th fret. It's now reasonable. Um, I took this one as a learning process, as you should when you buy a grotty guitar. So I filled it in. Then I chipped it out and filled it in again. And then I used the old trusted method of filling things in which is a lot of dust and uh, super glue then I tried spraying I masked bits off and I got frankly cheap black gloss spray paint out I sprayed it and I waited for a few days and I decided to try and buff it down and it clogged everything up because <coughs> there is a big difference between dry and cured. Something can dry in minutes. Cured means it's dry all the way through. And that took weeks and weeks. What did I learn? I learned that uh, I need to practice. Oh, that's gone. Okay, we'll just have to do the rest of this in the semi-darkness then. Um, I need to learn how to use a buffing machine. I need to use, learn to use sandpaper a bit better. And, and I've learned a lot of lessons doing that. Doing an entire guitar is one thing. Just doing a bit of a guitar to try and blend it in with uh, sunburst is very different because you've already got something to work against and it's it's quite well I found it quite difficult and it's uh, reinforced my ideology on not liking plastic coated lumps of wood good points about this guitar and we'll get them out of the way early is um, its shape but that's ugly Gavin yes it is but it sits quite well. It does sit quite well. As 
you can hear, the bad points of the sound. It sounds awful. Um, the neck was at such an appalling angle, I had to put shims in. I didn't use timber, um, I ended up using brass because the entire neck needed to be lifted up from here it needed to be lifted up about a millimeter or two and at this end the angle was still downwards so I had to bend the neck back uh, by using even more shims in the body section of the the neck pocket um, the scale is 19 inches as opposed to um, a 25.5 inch scale for um, standard Fender. Why does it sound so tinny again? Well, 19 inches is almost exactly at the A spot on the E string. So if you just tune everything up to A. You've actually got it at the right tension, the same tension as you would have a normal guitar. If you want a fun travel guitar that's not going to play in tune with anybody else, this is the one. If you want a guitar to play your standard stuff with, well, you're not going to play any Slayer covers with this, are you? Um, and certainly, let's face it, the frets get a little bit tinny up here for somebody with fingers this thick. No, it's all just a little bit silly. Is it suitable for a child's guitar? Um, my honest impression is no. Um, I think children should be given full-size guitars so they can get used to the right size and the right shape. They'll just grow into it. This would be a step backwards because of the manufacture quality of the darn things. It's poor. It's so bad. It took forever to get this anything close to playable. Um, is it fun? Yeah. I mean, I can see it working in a folk band on an acoustic level. As, you know, an opposition to a mandolin or something. Um, as anything else, it is just an amusing toy, to be perfectly honest. I saw um, somebody had what they called a half-scale classical guitar and they'd named it Octavia because it was an octave higher that was enormous fun but that's what this is it's just a fun little thing that was probably worth all 15 pounds I paid for it probably not the extra tenner for bits of brass I've shoved in there probably not for the electronics that all needed redoing in here um, and the amount of time I spent respraying it, um, making them up was great fun as usual. Do learn how to make a nut. It's um, 
surprisingly easy as usual if you've got the tools but um, once you've got them you've got them for life um, anyway that's another one of Gavin's grotty guitars and luckily it can go back up in the storeroom to be hidden away forever anyway until next time take care